Hello everyone, I am here again today with another Is It Safe video and today we're talking about smiley piercings. <laughs> You're welcome. I get so many requests in my comments from all over the place when I posted my first video here on YouTube about snake eyes piercings, asking if I could do the same thing for smiley piercings and talk about if these piercings are safe, the considerations for them, all that stuff. So let's get into it. In the sake of full transparency, smiley piercings are piercings that I used to offer as a body piercer. Um, again, I've been doing this for about 10 years, and 10 years ago, there wasn't as much information about the risks of them. We knew that they were harmful, we knew that they carried risk, but we didn't know very well how much that risk was or how much it could be minimized. So in the beginning of my career, I did offer smiley piercings. That being said, at this point in my career, I do not. I do not offer them. I will not really work on them. I'll remove jewelry for people who want to retire them. If someone really needs help with something, I'll, I'll you know, I'll take jewelry out. Um, but these are not piercings that are safe, and I just do not think that they are worth it. And I am saying this not only with data and information that we now have to back this up, but as someone who used to offer these piercings with my personal experience of the risks and the concerns for these piercings. So a smiley piercing is a piercing through the lingual frenulum of the upper lip. So if you were to lift up your upper lip, you've got that little webbing that connects your lip to the top of your gums, and the smiley piercing passes through that webbing. That does also mean that the smiley piercing sits directly against your front two teeth and your gums and can cause a lot of really serious health problems long term. Now the lingual frenulum, the webbing of your upper lip is pretty thin and fragile. So smileys are incredibly well known for migrating and rejecting and even just tearing right out. I cannot tell you how many clients I have seen who have a smiley who were just brushing their teeth one day or taking a big bite of food and it literally ripped right through that webbing. That webbing is very thin and not very stable. Now because of this, a lot of folks will say that smileys are a temporary piercing. You're only supposed to have them for a little bit and then you take them out because they migrate so easily. The problem with that mentality is that even if you treat this as a temporary piercing, you can still cause a lot of really serious damage to your teeth and gums in that time frame. To start, here we have a photo of a client with a smiley piercing that is obviously very, very irritated. Um, worth mentioning, because a lot of people don't realize this, this is on a client who is black. She does have melanin, and that means her gums have melanin. So that blackness you see on the gums, that's just some good melanin, okay? Um, but this piercing, as you can see, is pretty irritated and grumpy. Now, she actually did maintain a really good oral hygiene routine. She brushed regularly, she flossed regularly, and she cleaned this piercing to the best of her ability regularly. But like I mentioned, smiley piercing piercings are known for migrating and tearing out of that webbing because that webbing is really fragile and that can make them pretty tricky to brush or keep clean. As you can see, we have some plaque buildup on the jewelry here. When she came in to see me, we were just taking this out. She told me about how regularly she would brush and deep clean this jewelry. She would do a good deep clean about once a week and within a week or two, the plaque would be built up back to this level and she just was tired of having to do these long deep cleans through this piercing that's really fragile and really tricky to work around every single week and have it still build up so badly so rapidly. And these can be plaque magnets. I do see a lot of clients who struggle with very severe plaque buildup on this jewelry, which is also not very good for your teeth. But more concerning than that plaque buildup was the fact that this was beginning to wear away her gums. So here is another photo, and I've circled the area where we can see erosion of the gums and abrasion of the gums from the jewelry rubbing and pressing against them. Um, and once your gums are gone, they're gone. They don't grow back. All you can do is get a gum graft, and those are expensive uncomfortable and not always guaranteed to take or last. So you may spend all this money and go through all this discomfort and the gum graft may still reject. Now here is a photo after we removed the piercing and this makes it very clear where that damage was. And we can see in this portion here, the indentation where from the jewelry pressing and sitting against the gums, it completely wore the gums away in that placement. And those gums are just gone. They're not coming back. They are simply gone now from that area. Now, fortunately, she didn't experience complete gum loss. It's not exposing the tooth down to the root, but now for the rest of her life, she has to be extra careful with her gums and that tooth because she's always gonna be at a little bit of a higher risk of damage there because her gums protecting the root of that tooth are literally gone. 
Here we have another client who is experiencing the same thing. Um, this was after I already removed the jewelry and on this client's gums, you can see the perfect imprint of the jewelry and the beads. It is just those gums are just gone in the shape of that circular barbell. Um, and that's really the biggest concern when it comes to smiley piercings is gum loss and gum abrasion and erosion. With a smiley piercing, there's nowhere else for it to go. 24 seven, it is pressed up against the gums of your front two teeth. And as you're talking, drinking, eating, it's being pushed into that or rubbing around. Now, a lot of folks will say, well, what if I wear a different style of jewelry? What if I wear a curved barbell? What if I wear a seam ring? It doesn't matter what you wear, no matter what jewelry you put in this piercing, that jewelry is being pressed up against those gums, be it a curved barbell, be it a straight barbell, be it a circular, be it a seam ring. It's all being pressed against those gums and wearing those gums down. Now that being said, certain styles are worse. I will say I see the worst erosion from circular barbells and curved barbells because the beads sit higher than the ring and it puts uneven pressure uneven pressure on that placement. But that being said, I've seen just as much erosion from seam rings and flat designs because anything that's metal or plastic and hard and pressing up against your gums is going to wear them down. That brings me to my next argument, plastic. A lot of folks ask, well, what if I wear plastic jewelry in it? Won't that prevent it from causing damage? Plastic is still going to be harder than your gums. Your gums are pretty soft. So even if you're wearing plastic, it's still going to wear down the gums in the exact same way that metal jewelry would wear them down, except at least a high quality implant grade titanium and metal jewelry is body safe. Plastic breaks down in the mouth. Here are some photo examples of a plastic and a metal labrette and you can see how awful that plastic labrette is looking after wear. Um, and I touched on this in my video about snake eyes piercings as well, but there is no company using medical grade body safe plastic for body jewelry. Bioflex, acrylic, it's all just mixtures of PMMAs and polymers. They're not designed for long-term wear in the body and they're definitely not designed to be worn inside your mouth in a mucous membrane. They break down in the mouth very quickly, they get coated in plaque and debris and super gross, and they still damage your gums just as much as metal jewelry does in a smiley. So plastic jewelry, not going to fix this issue. Now the two pictures of smiley piercings that I just showed you are of clients who had them for a shorter period of time, a couple of months to a couple of years. And yes, I've seen this type of damage occur in just a couple months of having this piercing. But anytime I talk about smiley piercings, I will have people come on my page and say, well, I've had mine for four years or five years and I have no damage. So this is totally fine and safe. Um, and for those, I have one of my wonderful clients from Florida. Uh, I had been working on her for a couple years when I lived in Florida but she had been getting pierced many more years than that and when she was younger and living in New Jersey she got her smiley pierced down on the shore and she wore it for about 10 years with seemingly no issues everything was fine then one morning she woke up she had some discomfort in her tooth and her gums she noticed her tooth was looking a little weird she scheduled for with her dentist a couple weeks later she went to the dentist and this is what happened Slowly over time, her smiley jewelry had been wearing down at those gums, but not in a way that was visually immediately obvious. And unfortunately, it had been something that was missed at her previous dental appointments. They hadn't really gotten in there to tell that that erosion had been happening. And now you can see she's literally missing the gums over that entire tooth. Um, she's since retired the piercing. She's since gotten a gum graft and gotten work done. Um, but that is really serious, really severe damage. And that happened after 10 years. So a smiley piercing is really just a dangerous game of chicken between your piercing and your teeth. And usually the piercing wins. And by the time you notice there's problems or damage or issues and you remove that jewelry, the gums are already gone and you could potentially even lose teeth over it. Here is one more photo of another client who came into my studio. It's the same erosion and same damage. You can see I left the jewelry in for this picture, the jewelry itself, and then this curved indentation here where the jewelry was wearing down her gums. This is the earliest sign of abrasion and erosion of your gums thanks to a smiley piercing. And since I've started making content about the risks and harm of these piercings and showing these photos online, I've gotten literally dozens of messages from people who had smiley piercings who then went to the bathroom, moved 
moved their jewelry around and looked with a good strong light and noticed these same bands of gum loss and gum damage thanks to the jewelry. I've even had one client who reached out to me who only had it for three weeks and noticed this type of gum loss in the shape of the jewelry on their gums. And all those clients have taken it out. Some have stayed in touch and updated me. And most of them have said that while this indentation fills in a little bit without the jewelry, they can still see and feel with their tongue exactly where the jewelry was resting in their gums. Their gums are just no longer there there anymore. And don't get me wrong, this is a very cute piercing. I understand why people like the look of it and want to get it done. But once again, my opinion remains as cute as body piercings are. I just think having all of your teeth in your mouth and having all of your gums is a little bit cuter. Just a little bit cuter. Now that being said, I'm not here to tell you what to do. You decide you wanna get this piercing, you're okay with the risks, it's your body, that's your decision to make. I'm just here to provide the information and allow people to make an informed decision. And when smiley piercings are talked about, oftentimes people will discuss that they carry risks. A lot of people online will say it's a temporary piercing. But what I don't see discussed often enough is exactly what those risks are. The risks are losing and destroying your gums, potentially losing your front teeth, and potentially needing dentures or implants or veneers in order to save your teeth over a body piercing. And those are all things that are not very comfortable to get done and can cost thousands and thousands of dollars to do. With smiling piercings, I don't offer them. I don't suggest them. Most reputable piercers are moving towards the realm of not offering them anymore just because we don't want to be destroying people's teeth or causing people to lose teeth over a body piercing. Unlike snake eyes, there's not a super great alternative to smileys because any piercing you would put in that area or in that placement would just press on your gums and irritate them. So the closest thing, which is still not very close, would be something like a vertical filtrum, which I wear. You see the bottom bead of a vertical filtrum when you're talking and smiling and eating and things like that. And it gives a similar-ish cute peekaboo effect to a smiley. It's obviously not anywhere near the same or exactly the same, but my front teeth are still in my mouth and they're still healthy and I still have all my gums and I don't have to spend thousands of dollars on dental work. So you know, who's really winning here? Who's really winning here? So that's my take on smiley piercings. Those are a breakdown of the risks to your teeth and your gums. And please, if you're considering this piercing, really, really seriously think about if it is worth it to you to permanently damage your gums and your front teeth and potentially lose your front teeth. I just don't think that it's actually worth that, no matter how cute it is or how much you might try and justify it to yourself. And if you like these series of videos that I've been doing on like if certain piercings are safe and kind of what goes into them and what goes into the risks, uh, let me know in the comments down below if you want me to make a couple more videos like that or if there's other piercings you want to see me talk about. And as per usual, if you like my content and the stuff that I've been putting out, please hit like, please subscribe, and hopefully we sit down and hang out again soon. Have a great day.